The Seventh Circuit Court just ruled that AR-15s are not protected by the Second Amendment. A federal appeals court has upheld the Illinois law which bans the sale of certain firearms, magazines, and ammunition calibers. Capital News Illinois reports the court's majority opinion says even the most important personal freedoms have their limits. Democratic state lawmakers pushed for this ban in January after the deadly shooting in Highland Park on the 4th of July last year. The Illinois Supreme Court upheld the law back in August. It could now be appealed to the U.S. Supreme Court. Someone please explain to me how a rifle that was specifically designed for civilian use is on the low end of power compared to other rifles and is the most popular rifle in the country. How is that not protected by the Second Amendment? The Second Amendment didn't say the right to keep and bear only certain guns that don't scare the government. It said the right to keep and bear arms. The level of irony in a decision like this is mind numbing. The entire point of the Second Amendment was to give the people a fighting chance against a tyrannical government. And here you have two federal judges appointed by the government telling the people that the amendment designed to protect their right to keep and bear arms doesn't protect their right to keep and bear AR-15s because it's too powerful. Hell, while you're at it, why don't you round up a bunch of criminals and ask them what guns they think are too powerful for people to have because it makes being a criminal harder. This is goofy. And it's also why what president you vote for is so important when it comes to protecting the second amendment. These federal judges are appointed to their position by the president and confirmed by the Senate. This was a two to one vote. And the two judges that voted in favor of the semi-auto rifle ban were appointed by Bill Clinton and Ronald Reagan. Yes, that Ronald Reagan. Reagan wasn't as pro-gun as some people think. The one judge that voted against the ban was appointed by Trump. So remember that the next time you're at the voting booth because even though federal judges are appointed for life, they still have their bias and lean either pro or anti second amendment. Too many people think judges are these impartial robots. They're not. They too can be blinded by ideological stupidity. That said, this is the second time that the seventh circuit court has upheld a semi-auto rifle ban. In 2013, Highland Park banned semi-auto rifles. Local gun groups took it to court and the Seventh Circuit ruled in favor of the ban. It went all the way to the Supreme Court, but the Supreme Court didn't want to hear the case. Then after a mass shooting in Highland Park in 2022, they passed a semi-auto rifle ban for the entire state of Illinois. And now here we are again, after it was challenged by local gun groups, the same Seventh Circuit Court ruled in favor of the ban. I keep telling y'all, the anti-gun lobby always tries things incrementally to see what they can get away with. They got a semi-auto rifle ban on the city level. And when the Supreme Court didn't want to take the case, they realized they can get away with it on the state level. The only difference is now, the Supreme Court of then ain't the Supreme Court of now. And I'm pretty confident that this is going to the Supreme Court and they will take this case. And if the recent Bruin decision is any indication of how this will play out, it might not go the way anti-gun lobby thinks it will. AR-15s are protected by the Second Amendment, a well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state. The right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. It didn't say only the guns the Seventh Circuit said were okay, it said arms. So help me spread this message on YouTube by clicking the thumbs up button, leaving a comment to let me know what you think of the video, then subscribe to the channel, but most importantly, Click that bell symbol. And for products like the one I'm wearing right now, this embroidered hoodie that says ARs are protected by the Second Amendment and a bunch of other designs that we have in this hoodie as well, I put a link in the description section of this video.